And we're looking back to 2006. You scored 22 goals in your first season at Charlton, 18 in the Premier League. No Englishman had scored more than that. You must have been gutted that you weren't called into the England squad for, for the World Cup. Yeah, I was. I mean, I, I remember Curbs having that conversation with me at half time, like it was yesterday at Old Trafford. Obviously, I'm thinking, he said, I'm, I'm making a chain that Dad, you're going to come off because I think you're going to be in the squad. I, I want to give you the best chance of, of going. Like, I don't think anything you could do in the second half is going to convince anyone. I've just scored, as you said, 22 goals that season. And the fact that I didn't go, yeah, I was gutting. I mean, I remember having. I mean, First of all, how did you take that when, when Curbs said you're coming off? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you want to play. It's, it's all tough. You want to try and get another goal. Do you know what I mean? I'm chasing down Van Nistelrooy and Thierry, to, obviously for the golden boot, but it was one of them. It was just a case of, I understood. Do you know what I mean? I understood. And I was like, okay, that's fair enough, Curbs. But it was just one of them. It was still hard to take. And people still bring it up now and not laugh about it, but I, I, I can smile about it now. But at the time, you think, I was always under the illusion. You put the work in, you score the goals, you play well, you get picked for your country. And unfortunately, it, and I don't say much, it wasn't even the fact that I didn't get picked. It was who went ahead of me in terms of Theo Walcott, who hadn't played a, a game in the Premier League. I think that's what really done it for me. Did Sven call you at all? Did he contact you? Yeah, I spoke to Sven and he basically said to me, listen, you've had a, a great season, but unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be taking you to the World Cup. Um, and it was one of them where I was like, okay, that's fair enough. But he didn't tell me, obviously, why I wasn't going. He didn't tell me it was Theo. He just said that, keep going and hopefully you'll get another opportunity. And that was it. We couldn't believe it. Anyone associated with Charlton at that time couldn't believe it more. It's a good thing. Well, it's a disappointing thing, isn't it? Especially, you know, putting Theo Walcott to one side. You know, they're, they're in a squad, there'll be some players who, for want of a better word, probably aren't going to play. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, you should have been there because you offered something different, number yeah. one. And number two, you guaranteed goals. Yeah. In, a, in tournament play, what gets you to the next stage is goals. Mm. So, you know, I know for a fact, watching that, scratching my head, thinking... Well, I wonder what it's like for you because yeah. being a top English goal scorer, it can't get any better. No, and that still wasn't good enough. No, you know. So I wonder what it was like for you after that. Do you know what it was? It was one of them where, yeah, it, it was tough. Um, but do you know what was really kind of good about the whole situation was that I felt like because I was playing at this club and I'd scored so many goals for this club, but I didn't go. That it hurt me and it hurt everyone else, like the, the people that I'd worked with, the coaching staff, the people behind this, the fans. I mean, everywhere I went, obviously, the following season, pre-season, I can't believe you didn't go. It was a travesty. So that kind of softened the blow in a kind of strange kind of way because mm. I felt like even though it happened to me, they all felt it as well. Yeah. So it was kind of all in it together. Did you watch the games, the World Cup games? Through gritted teeth, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done that. I could have come off the bench. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I did. And obviously, you still wanted them to do very, very well. But it was one of them um, that obviously happened to me. And it's part and parcel of one of them things.